What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, we have another Alphalea Trinum review. And if you have not seen any, anything on social media, <laughs> you are in for a treat because we have all new. When this came out, I was like, what? what? Hello? Not even just new material, new styles, new everything. It is... I feel like all year it's been, hey, this is another Amplify launch, new colors, me giving the same speech. I got the list. We're getting ready for it. So. I actually had to exchange a few things because of my sizing. So I just wanna make sure that you guys don't have to do the same because usually I come on and I'm like, I'm a true size small. It all fits perfectly fine. So this, launch was a little bit trickier so i'm just gonna put it out there now shoot me over questions i am here i want to make sure that you go in you get what you want and we don't have to go to the post office and all of that kind of stuff no time for that let's dive in launch is the saturday uh, october 28th at 10 a.m pst 12 p.m ct and 1 p.m est my code is brooklyn as always if you choose to shop and support and i am going to be doing my october giveaway so it will kind of close us out to the end of the month and i have all those instructions in the little link tree in my bio if you scroll all the way to the end and thank you guys so much i cannot thank you enough i've been on alpha now for coming up in november four years which is nuts to me so thank you guys so much for all the support truly i i really appreciate it and i love to get the feedback too that you guys like these sit down style youtube videos as well we're gonna dive in my stats are gonna be up on the screen kevin is my editor wizard type guy <laughs> he'll he'll flash stuff i'm 5'5 five five. i am like 136 37 pounds 34 b usually those stats never change so if you have watched my previous videos that is going to be important and I always say I'm a true alpha lead size small but I'm going to kind of dive into everything and how it fits and what I did have to return because of sizing. So we will dive right in and start with some of the faves. Moving into the tops of launch we have three bras and a shrug all new. We got a lot to dive into and I'm going to just rip off the band-aid and start with the bando top because this was like the jaw on the floor moment where everyone was like, oh, we're coming out with these. So I have a little comparison because I do have Skims bandeau tops. Love, love, love the idea of bandos. Are they the most practical thing on the planet? No, but they're really cute for the backings. So I do have a comparison on that. And the price point between the two, I believe is like a $4 difference between this with a discount code and then the normal Skims Bando pricing. So let's just dive into that video first. We'll just start with, did it meet the mark for me? I'm gonna say no. So this band is what's like driving me crazy. It is so thin. It has this little rubber elastic sticky thing that's supposed to stick here and it does not stick. And it honestly is just a little annoying. Like when I was working out, it just wasn't staying in place and kind of looked off for me. It's really cute from the back. Like it is really cute from the back but it's not super practical. And if they made this band thicker and just more supportive, Skims is a little bit thicker here and on the bottom, which is not, is not supportive at all. It needs to be thicker on both because we're already taking out the strap aspect of this bra. So we're losing that support. And then this needs to be keeping us in place. Skims is so compressive. It is so compressive, but it's nice. But I do love this bra, and we'll turn around for the back. I do love this bra because they cut out the back. So obviously it's wider here, and then it goes down. And it is way more comfortable in the back, especially training-wise too, and aesthetic, beautiful, with the cut out back. But how they could make this way, way better is thicker compressive bands, front, or top and bottom on the front. So this is what the back looks like. It is super cute. I can insert some little training clips too. It looked fire for the backings. Uh, and I do like that versus these skims. But main thing is it, it, these two bands need to be fixed. And I think it would be a really great bandeau training top. I have trained in the skims and I kind of had similar feelings with this where I'm like, like this and this in both. So I will say that in both, I kind of feel like eh, maybe it's a sense of habit, but this one I did get like a roll here with this band. So that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like missing the mark for me. I am still going to wear the heck out of these. I am. I, sometimes I don't need practical. Sometimes I don't. 
and mainly it's for like filming purposes. So I'm gonna just be straight up and honest on that. Like I trained a back day today, I filmed in this. It looked so good because I'm filming from the back and you can see my back muscles. So that's just me being real. I felt really cute at the gym today, regardless um, of me doing this quite a bit. If I was gonna train anything else in this, I'd probably just do like shoulders or like push would probably feel better versus, you know, the poles. The rows were fine. It's the poles from the top that this would roll. So that is my T on this. In terms of sizing, I don't think I would size up or down because if I size down, this would just be too short. And then if I sized up, it would not hold me at all. So that's where I'm at. That's where, that's where the predicament lies in this bra. That's where it lies. Cause with the skims, I could easily size up in that one because it is so compressive. But with this one, I'm like, and now I have the Skims Bandeau on for reference with the Alpha Lee bra. And biggest difference here is Skims is not a gym bra. You know, gym girls just adopted it. They're like, let's put this, let's wear this for the gym. So Skims is gonna be the same way all the way across. And I like that Alpha Lee did something different with the lower back cut. So for us gym girls, you know, you can see the back gains a little bit more. I do find that more comfy. Personally, when I have this back on and I'm putting them on back to back, I do feel like this back more comfy than this, especially for gym purposes. So you can see it just goes all the way across and it is super, just a simple bandeau top. With this, you're gonna have the minimal logoing with the Alpha Lee bandeau, none with skims, so that's one thing. And then, like I talked about, with this bandeau situation here, the elastic sticky, this rolls too much. It has a thicker band here at the bottom and a little bit of a thicker band at the top with no sticky and it holds you in a little bit better. This has a very thin band at the bottom, which it should be thicker. And then this is kind of similar, honestly, to this width of this band, but it just doesn't hold. This is more compressive. This size small, way more compressive than this size small. So that's gonna be another main difference here. I don't have other bandos for comparison, but I bet other athletes do. I'd love to kind of see those and see how other companies make theirs a little bit more supportive without, you know, taking out the straps is huge. How to make it more supportive without ooh, straps and whatnot. So my final thoughts with the bandeau, it could just be a lot better if this elastic band here was thicker and more supportive. We're already cutting out, you know, the practicality of the straps. We take that out of the equation. Really, this band needs to be holding everything up. And I feel like they missed the mark on this being so thin this elastic part doesn't really stick to the body. I kind of felt like it would roll. If you have a larger chest and need more support, this is a heck no for this, unfortunately. I just don't feel, I, Skims is way more compressive. If you need more compression in and more support in a bra, this is gonna be a no. And the overall athlete thought is, these are definitely bras for smaller chest. If you need more support, the, I would skip these bras. Period. Moving into the strappy bra, this one, it was going neck and neck for me <laughs> with this in the sculpt bra. I love, let's just start with the back. I love the back. I think the back is what wins for me. It is just this super cute open back, nice thin straps. Oh my God, it's perfect for back day. I am obsessed. I feel like this bra holds me in very well. I feel very supported. The only thing I did have to do with this but it is a plus, they have the adjustable straps. I did have to adjust the straps as soon as I put them on because it was a little too tight here on my back, but once I adjusted, I feel fine. I love adjustable straps though because you it, it gives you more room to work with. The only thing I just don't love is how short it is here. I did see with some of the other athletes that have a larger chest, like cup size, that they had to size up in this because don't have a lot of coverage here. These are not gonna be your high impact bras whatsoever. They're great for like upper body days and stuff like that. If you're weightlifting and whatnot, and honestly for a leg day too, but if you're like running or spinning or anything like that, I actually, I would feel pretty insecure in this one, but I wouldn't in the sculpt, definitely not in the bandeau. I would say this one has the most support out of all three. I really like this. This is in porcelain. It just has the very minimal logoing and that's kind of across the board with this, which we love. I feel like this material is a little bit more delicate and I got lighter colors and you guys see the nips in them? Um, and I did get, oh my God, I got the white bandeau. What was I thinking? I got the white bandeau and my dumb self was like, yes, I don't have a white bandeau and yeah, don't get the white bandeau. 
know, unless you want to put like pasties under it. And you can't put the cups in, so you can't save yourself in that sense. And the bras in general, they're the same material. They're very, very soft. I mean, this collection is so, so soft. It's like this delicate, you know, Pilates girl yoga class fabric. Like that's my thought behind it. It is so freaking soft. Lifestyle wear to the T. Uh, and I love, I love the idea behind everything. You know, like the bandeaus, the strappy, the small strappy bra, smaller chest. Yes, sure. It's not gonna be the most supportive bra out of any of the Alpha Lee ones. And I will say the last launch bras were my absolute favorite bras ever, ever so far, because they just did the job in the front. I wish I could emulate the front of that bra with the back of this bra. That would be the perfect, perfect bra, in my opinion. And our final bra, I have the Aura bra on, and this is actually the bra that I thought I was gonna like the least. And I have to say, I think this is my favorite one of launch. I saw it, I was like, you know what, it's plain Jane, I'm gonna go with the bandeau, the strappy. This one is so comfy. It is just like a staple, nice, comfortable bra. So. This is my top, and I'm sad that I only got one color, but I have this on in sand with the sand flares. It looks very similar in person, to my, in my opinion, to porcelain, so I'll show you guys kind of like that comparison there. I feel like when I'm looking at it on camera, it looks more of that contrast, but when I'm looking at it in real life, I was like, wait, am I in porcelain or I'm in sand? So this is sand, bottoms, top. Bottoms are small, top is also a size small. It's gonna be the same material across the board, the 75, 25, I'll put all the details. It's just super soft. These are all gonna be lower impact bras. There's no cup padding, but I'll show you guys the back. It is just a super simple, staple bra. And I think this is, I would call it more of like a necessity bra. Like it's comfortable. It's not gonna be something super high impact. I've actually been wearing this bra all day with the flares and the t-shirt and it's just super comfy. It's not something you have to just rip off or anything. It does not dig into the traps, which is nice. The only downside is there's no, you know, adjustable straps or anything. So you really wanna make sure that you nail the sizing. And like I've said, the bra itself is very short. If you have a bigger chest, I would size up in this bra specifically, but just be aware if you are going for a bra that you want to be, you know, high impact for a crazy hit workout or something, it is not going to be this. I teach spin. I would not wear this to spin class. The fabric is very delicate. It's, it's like that Lululemon Align material, but for a top. So for me, this is going to be more you know, yoga class, lifestyle, around the house kind of vibe. It is so comfy, but I would have to say this is gonna be my top one. All of these bras are going to be coming in white, porcelain, sand, pewter, cashmere, and black. And that's gonna be for the Aura, Strappy, the Skull Bra, as well as the Bandeau. And now we're gonna move into the Shrug, which is so different. And I have never worn one of these before in my life. And this is just the fit, I feel like. It, it is the it girl. This fit, it is it. When I saw this launching, I was like, holy cow, I have never worn a shrug, but I'm gonna get a shrug and I'm gonna see if I can pull it off and get with it. I love this. This is so cute. I uh, It feels a little bit too dressed up for me for the gym. I actually put this on, I was getting ready and Josh came in, he's like, where are you going? I was like, oh, filming my try on. This is new from Alphalete. He's like, that's a gym outfit. <laughs> I was like, yeah. He's like, you look like you go out in this. I was like, maybe I will. Maybe when we venture out into the nightlife again in our retired age, I will wear this out. Probably not, but it is really cute. Like, this feels too much for me for the gym, but I love it. I am here for it. The gym fashion is beautiful. I was not sure about the shrug. You know, it's like a fourth of a shirt. I'll give it a fourth because of the sleeves, but so cute. Like it adds something just so fun to this outfit. Is it very practical in a sense? Like it's just a four shirt, but it's so cute. Okay, so <laughs> let's get into it in terms of sizing. So it is really just like sleeves, top, it is cut out. It looks really cute with a bandeau. It looks really cute with a skull bra. I like the sizing of this. I did my normal size small. Armpits are free so you don't get crazy sweat stains. That is why I hate working out in long sleeves, especially like a thin, like not a thin, but like a silky kind of fabric. Whew. And gray, oh no. Um, but the, the armpits are free so you can sweat all you like. And it has thumb holes. It has thumb holes. We, we love that. 
I am a sucker for thumb holes. I don't know why, it just makes something so much more comfier in my opinion. Um, it has the nice little stitch detailing like the leggings do, and it is just super soft. It doesn't suffocate you in or anything. I'll show you guys the back. Very, very cute on. So I think this personally will be a top seller as well as the flares. Uh, for this launch just because it's so different cute everyone's going crazy for it if you are into the style I would say 10 out of 10 recommend I am com converting to it I love it and again pairing this with the bandeau or the skull bra is very cute you can even do the strappy bra too I feel like it just looks the best with those two bras specifically with the back cut this is coming in five colors you'll have white porcelain pewter cashmere and black same blend super high stretch 75% nylon 25% spandex and it is perfect for layering and it's super cute so I got that too and I would say I highly recommend I would say just stick to your normal sizing with that and you will be good to go and here's porcelain with sand on and just a color comparison like I said I feel like in person these look more similar than when I'm looking at them on camera but if you my thought here is if you remember the birthday sale launch and we had the tonal colors so there was like rose and autumn and linen and chai this is what I'm feeling with these two they're great to pair like this pair together is beautiful but what I'm going to say is if you're between you know getting a couple colors I would do one or the other unless you want to do like a mix and match situation but in terms of getting a bottom in porcelain and a bottom in sand in the same style, I feel like I would just go with a different color. So that's my thing in terms of which one I like better. You know, I was trying to figure this out for the last week of which one I like better. I have to say I kind of like sand a little bit more just because I like a little bit more nudes. This is so minimal though, and I love how this pairs together. When I have the full porcelain outfit on, versus the full sand outfit. I do like the full sand a little bit more just cause I'm not really much of a pink girly, though it is minimal, but I felt like I liked porcelain a little bit more in the last launch versus this launch because this one's a little light. There's no cut paddings. Uh, there's, it, it seems a little bit um, more revealing. The next highly anticipated item is the flare pants and these are causing a stir. <laughs> I got, I did get one size medium that I have on right now and I will show you guys that. Thank goodness. I actually am returning, exchanging the smalls that I got for mediums. And this is the rundown. Black for whatever reason is so much shorter than all the other colors. I am wearing a size small. And as you can see, I have high waters on. I don't know why they're so much shorter. I had to double check. I was like, did I get us extra small by chance? No. I, I don't know if it's like all, all of them are like this. Um, Amy did say hers are shorter too. So to be safe, black is like the staple color I wanted. And I did get a medium. They just sent that over. Um, get a size up if you are 5'5 five, five and above for sure because this is like not it at all and even like when those shoes on too and those are my shorter shoes they are still way too short so for my taller ladies if you were wearing a size small every so from small to medium a whole inch inseam is added and then medium to large another inch inseam just for reference and I feel like the fit of them medium to small like it's not anything crazy where you can't wear a size up in this uh, you just get more length, which is nice. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened with these, to be honest. I was, I was shook. I am still shook. And here I have the medium in black, which with shoes, a perfect length. We love her. And like I said, I feel like just the overall fit of these, medium to small, it's not a crazy huge difference. These are so stretchy that they just form fit to you, which is awesome. So in terms of sizing with these, Definitely go off of your height, <laughs> for sure. These are so stretchy, they form fit. I wouldn't worry about them being like super loose or anything. I just feel like these snug you in and they form fit to your frame and they're super comfy. The pan itself is just so freaking comfortable and when they hit the right length, they are so cute. So I like the medium. Again, I'm 5'5", five five. I would say 5'5 five five and above don't do 
a size small in black specifically <laughs> and then if you are like 5'5 five five, maybe 5'6 five you could do a size small in the other colors I'll show you guys the other color in the size small but I think personally being 5'5 five five, I like medium more than small you get some good fabric and then again you can wear your shoes so and then here's sand small with shoes on and like you can tell these are perfect and how a small should fit <laughs> versus black so if you are gonna go for black which i know a lot of people are probably gonna get the black yogas they are a staple color um, that's the only thing that i have uh, a little bit of beef with i don't know what happened with these these are shorter heeled shoes like i was saying i could do some taller ones um in that case i would probably still stick with the mediums but as you can see the smalls fit great with any color besides the black the only thing with these pants that is causing a stir other than that these are great 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 flare pants they are so comfortable on oh my gosh and when they fit the right length they are beautiful the detail is beautiful it is like this butter soft material lululemon align esque oh they are perfect in that sense you just have to like anyone under 5'5 five five and doing a size small you're good but if you are over that mark my taller ladies you do have to size up if you're in the small category i know michaela i believe she's like 5'8 and she did a medium and they she said they fit her perfectly i love the medium on me i feel like the whole fitting of them is fine like it's not too big on the waist or anything it's just the length is added and they fit perfect they just form fit to your body so well they are a staple in my opinion for this launch it's going to come in all the colors as well and i'll flash that on the screen too and that's going to be that same butter soft butter soft that's what it says on the detail list uh, if you like that word awesome what is the other word that people don't like i can't think of it right now next up on the bottom category so we're gonna have the flares leggings as well as the shorts and I'm gonna kind of dive into all of that, but in terms of material for everything, it's gonna be that same blend. So it's going to be super, super soft and just, just cozy. Like something that you can just wear, work from home vibe. You don't feel like you have to rip off as soon as you get home, super comfortable. And again, I said this before, that yoga style material, love it. Low impact life. That's, that's what Lululemon told me about Alliance. They're like, Lululemon line you don't lift in and of course I did but they're like it's the low impact life and I was like huh interesting but in terms of the leggings the best way I can describe these is if you have bought from Alphalete before think Alpha Lux, think surface if you shop at Lululemon think a line pant without the front seam that is nice too so it is going to be that super super soft material like soft to the touch you don't want to get out of them leggings very different to me in terms of amplify like amplify to me is workout go to the gym bodybuilding glute workout leg day kind of feel and when i get home i usually you know even if i don't work out i usually don't wear them like lifestyle wear too much i wear them for the gym more high impact these are leggings that i will lounge around in you know if i was going to a yoga class pilates like these are that kind of legging you're not going to get you know the sable butt scrunch if that's not your thing these leggings will be for you uh the nice little contour stitching going down the leg it almost kind of goes in like a s shape in my opinion down the leg a nice thick waistband and it does not snug you in like kind of snug like it hugs you in but it doesn't <laughs> snug you in a difference so i love the waistband in these and this is what drew me to alpha lux in the beginning i liked alpha lux actually more in the beginning before amplify and they changed the waistband because i love the material and i loved how the waistband just like did not pinch so hard right here so it just forms to your body really well and in my opinion with sizing i would say go true to size with these let's see the detailing very minimal you could totally size down in these i wouldn't say size up in them particularly i you know if you're a true small medium large, like go with your normal size like they fit you well and they form very nicely to the body and i don't feel like being too tight is going to be an issue with these versus with amplify that usually is because the waistband is so tight and compressive okay next up we have the aurora shorts which is our last bottom we have the legging flare and then these shorts five inch inseam 
same blend 75 25 and it is that super soft fit and feel i love you know i only ordered one pair of the shorts because i was like i'm not sure if i'm gonna like these because of the alpha Lux shorts i usually don't love compared to amplify but i am a huge huge fan of these and i kind of wish i got more shorts than the leggings so i will say that like lifestyle-esque active wear this is that so love it it has the side paneling or not paneling i'm still on the amplify contour um the side stitch detail going down the leg so it's like a little s shape here it's nice because we haven't had alpha lux in a minute when i do like squats or something the roll factor let's test it a little roll here but the legs they stayed so i think that's pretty good like and then it just rolled back so huge fan of this this is in the color cashmere which we had last time and i am a huge fan of this colorway and then i do have the white bandeau on and i have like little things in here and the white bandeau for me is a no i love the longer inch and seam shorts just for lifestyle wear they're cute they're comfy some we don't want to wear like the super short shorts all the time they have its time and place but i do really love those shorts they just fit so well and if you are short girly definitely highly recommend those as well as the flares are going to be like in my top category too just because alpha has never come out with them if you rock a lot of alpha you know this launch is going to be stuff that you maybe you haven't you know we haven't seen before so i would say gravitate to the things that catch your eye a little bit more next we have the t-shirt so we'll do the little try on and whatnot i just got this full length t-shirt and then one crop there are going to be some different styles for the men and then i believe there's one more crop crop for the women so there's some options here I love this style I love the Alphalete logoing on it I just think it's vintage it's cute it has this like foam printing where it almost like kind of pops off the shirt a little bit if that makes sense I, I love this it's coming in four colors for both the crop and the full length in the full length I'm wearing a size large I always do size large in my pump cover kind of t-shirts I also do this because Josh, my boyfriend, wears a size large, so you get like a two-in-one purpose in it. It's cute. Um, and I steal his shirts anyway, so you know what? It makes it makes the most sense. But this is how I would wear it to the gym. So I have it tucked in the back. This is what it looks like. You get the little short action from the side and then as well from the back. I like this style. This is how it looks when it's not tucked in. And I actually have been wearing this all day uh, with the flares and I think it's just so cute and fun. Um, I, I think this is more of an upscale pump cover that Alphalete usually does. This material is caught in interlock. In my opinion, like feeling this, you know, obviously the collar is a little bit different. I just feel like it's a more polished t-shirt than just, you know, the standard black Alphalete pump cover graphic tees that we usually have, if that makes sense. It just feels like a better material, just a little bit more put together. And honestly, it's like very lightweight material too. So it's perfect for the gym and just, I think this would just be cute, like men wise to wear out with some jeans and it kind of mimics both. So I have a size large in comparison to the shorts, it hits a little further than the five inch inseam shorts. So this is what this looks like. I'll just do like a little 360. And then we have the crop. So let me try the crop on. And here's the crop with the same shorts and these colors basically <laughs> match. The good thing about all of, you know, with the tees as well as just like the hats, for example, the headbands, a lot of the stuff matches and the accessory colors match too. So with this, this is like a perfect match with cashmere. And then it has this nice nude color here that you could do potentially with sand or other colors of the launch like linen or chai, things like that. So I would probably pair this with like a linen or a chai to the gym. But this is a size small, which is my normal size. And it hits right, kind of right at the rib right here, a little bit under. I like this. It's, it gives you a little bit of stomach showing with the shorts, but not too much. I'm wearing my normal size. It's a little bit of like of a, that oversized fit anyways. So I'm happy with it. You could totally size up with this shirt. You could totally probably size down with it too, but I know it's meant to be like more oversized drop shoulder, whatnot. So in my opinion, stick to your normal size with this unless you want it a little bit longer on the torso, but here it is. And then from the back too, it goes a little bit longer 
in the back but I love the style with the lettering and everything so I would say pump cover you can either go your normal size you can go a size up you can go two sizes up like me and then with this I would stick to like maybe just your normal size or one size up if you want it a little bit more oversized. Some of the details, it's cotton interlock, light flexible, oversized fit, and then it's like a foam print. So it kind of like comes off the shirt a little bit. It feels, feels cool. Okay, and last but not least, we have quite a few accessories. We have hats, belts, headbands, <laughs> some different things here. So first up, we have the universal vintage cap. This is gonna come in four colors, moonlight, royal, sand, and blackout. This is going to be one size, enzyme wash for a worn in look and feel, embroidered graphic, adjustable strap, custom interior taping, and this is going to be 100% cotton. And then I got the color royal, which is just this beautiful blue color. Next up, we have the Wolfhead Air Tech headband. This is going to come in two colors, the dusty concrete as well as black. And then we're also going to have another style is just the AA Air Tech headband that just says um, Alpha Elite Athletics across the front. So you're gonna have two colors of that too, which is black and then creamy beige. But uh, these are just super cute and fun. Like, what is it, like 2000s with the flare pans and the headbands and everything. I wore this to spin class and it stayed up the whole time doing hard cardio and like pushing and all of that. It did not move. So spin approved and all the little accent detailing matches the color. So this matches, you know, pewter and then what, like sand for the little wolf head and all of them match and are complementary to the outfit. So they're super cute to pair with these two. All right, and then lastly, we have the lifting belt. This is so freaking cute, guys. Oh my, I couldn't pick which color I wanted. Uh, this is adorable. The material feels sturdy, very good. I have not yet lifted with this, unfortunately, because I was traveling and then if you can't tell by my voice, I am fighting off a sickness. So I'm on like day two of the mend. <laughs> I'm like pushing through it right now, but I, I really wanna get to the gym and try this out. I think this is just so cute. I don't have a lifting belt yet from Alphalee, but I do have their, you know, their straps. I have knee sleeves from them and everything is checked out really, really well. This is gonna come in four colors. It's gonna come in sea salt, porcelain, mocha, and black. I got the porcelain color, ooh, which I was kind of debating this in sea salt, but I feel like this is just a fun, neutral, very modest, light pink kind of color. I'm not a super big pink girl, but as you can see on the camera, it's not much, like it's so light. It almost revol it almost kind of reminds me of a light nude with a touch of pink to it. So really, really cute. And I got a size small in this lifting belt. So um, yeah, just make sure to measure your waist measurements and everything like that. All right, guys, and then it's gonna conclude the rest of the video. I hope this was helpful. Like I said in the beginning, please drop any questions anything personal sizing down below and I will just be getting back to everyone throughout this week as I recover from this little <laughs> sickness bug thing that I have. Uh, and then as always, if you do choose to support me, thank you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart and make sure to enter my giveaway. Send me over a message so I can thank you too. And yeah, I hope this helps and you guys get whatever you want and just always know too, we have Black Friday around the horizon. I always get asked like, should I wait for Black Friday? My thoughts with some of these pieces and they're high demand, if you really want it now, I would snag because for Black Friday, it is just gonna be the things that are left in stock specifically. So I would say out of this launch, with things that might go out of stock, the flare pants for sure are gonna be a top hit, the shrugs, I honestly think the bandos are gonna probably go quick um, just because a lot of people love the style of them. So that's what my thought process is for this launch. So if you really, really, really want something, that's gonna be my only thing uh, going into Black Friday coming up, but also know that we do have that too and there's never any pressure to get anything. I hope this was just helpful overall. So see you guys in the next one. Love you so much. Bye.